trying to be high. So like house shoes, you have to check your mic. But usually if you're playing like good babies, you know, yeah, they right away. It's like it's not a big deal. I let Jim down so hard. You put all the pressure on yourself, see, man. I don't know what's up with this, dude. You see that? The wheels are falling off here on the On The Break podcast, everybody. It's all over. It's over. <laughs> it's over. I can't get the microphone to stay in place. This I'm going the end home of it. just yep. to replace us. <laughs> all right, two randoms come yeah, up. This, this Those is guys. Krista and Aiden, oh, you're on. They Everybody totally, else, we're off. They totally saw me pointing at them. <laughs> I was like, Those guys. <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> they looked. They're like, Oh, God. This is kind of <laughs> weird. Um, the weather is super weird because, first of all, it's light. And it's only, what, 6 p.m. right now? 6.10 right now. It's never this light yeah, outside. Yeah, it's 6.10 right now, and it's lighter still. And then we've had, like, a mixture of monsoon and snow the last week. Yeah. Um, last week, I think, during a one point in time when I was driving, I witnessed it change from snow to yeah, rain. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and then, like, Sunday I was here, and everything was cool, and then all of a sudden it snowed. And I was like, what the hell just happened? Like... Out of nowhere. Ohio is a Welcome to bitch. Ohio. Yeah. Ohio is fucking great. I yeah, I've you. noticed though that they say that about every place. Oh, that yeah. You ever live. yeah. 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 <laughs> especially, yeah, especially if you're on Twitter looking at stuff. Uh, oh my god, like, dude. I just can't stand it. every time you're on Twitter, they're like, Ohio's bipolar. I'm like, every okay. the weather's like, just bipolar anyways. Yeah, just, have you seen all the uh have you seen all like the 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 fool's winter or fool's spring <laughs> and like actual winter it's like actual winter fool's winter actual spring see again i can't do this i can't work with this shit <laughs> aiden <laughs> i'm done <laughs> zit i'm out <laughs> i don't really care whatever anyways the funny memes are going around twitter and everywhere and i love them so i lived in ohio for most of my life and people would always be like oh man this ohio weather it's crazy <laughs> and then they're like they would say if you want to I don't remember what the saying is, but anyway, they would say that same saying in Texas. Oh yeah, everywhere. So I came Listen, to realize. Wait, wait. Kentucky. I've heard that te- that saying. It's um, fool me once, shame on you. No. Fool me, fool me twice, can't get fooled again. That's not right. it. It's I don't actually. Think that was it. Was that's it? the saying in Texas, right? It's actually if you don't like the weather in Ohio, wait five minutes. But it's then a George Bush quote. But then they said that. About every other state. Every ever. other state I've ever been in. All so I've just come to realize that weather's just weird, man. Yeah, man. They didn't say it when I lived in Arizona. It was just, hey, oh, it's, God. It's, Don't bring it's, up Arizona. <laughs> no, I'm going to have to. Uh, uh, I actually got my car stuck in the mud today, by the way. Random story before we actually get started here. All right, yeah, let's I had, this. I had one tire off of the driveway because the car I was beside was too far into the left. So I was, like, trying to back around it, but then... For some reason, the other tire got kicked off the driveway, too. So both tires ended up in the mud, and then I, it was awful. So then I had to get out. I had to have the person to get in the car and try and back it out. And she was, like, revving the engine really loud, and, like, like it was, like, spinning in mud everywhere and shit. It's too bad. I'm, like, like flip-flops on. I'm, like, trying to push it out. That's, like, the best part <laughs> of every party is, like, 3 o'clock in the morning when you're out so pushing cars out of the mud. You know, Someone's stuck in the mud. Getting hit it's... with the... the it's too bad that you don't drive a monster truck. I yeah. <laughs> you could have just ran over the Dude, other car. <laughs> I would love to take a monster truck mud running. I hate mud running, but a monster truck mud running would be great. I've, I've, never, I've never done that. We're like, not going to get to any intro or anything out of this, by the way. Like, we, just, we should try to do a podcast where we never... This is Six Inch Beer. Okay, yeah. now let's yeah. keep going. Can just keep, just yeah. going. We're talking about monster trucks today. Oh, monster, monster trucks! Our topic is monster trucks. Thanks. Yeah, we can do it, man. I don't care. I've so, got limited information on them. I have limited information, too. Jim, do you have information on monster trucks for us? Um, not per se. I've never driven one. But I, I will say this because Colby will know what I'm talking about before we get to the intros. <laughs> You've played at Donato's Basement before, and you know how the parking is there? Like yeah. how terrible. On the side of the street. How yeah. you have none. You don't. So I've just decided to tell John and Corey that I'm not playing there unless they let me drive a monster truck there <laughs> so I can just run over all the cars and oh, get my oh, parking spot. Just take them out. That's awesome. <laughs> that is fun. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the On The Break podcast. My name is Matt Brinker. This is Colby Likens. And we have the wonderful and talented Mr. West. Oh, that's it on purpose. Mr. Vest. <laughs> Mr. Here. West. Mr. West. Mr. Mr. Vest. West. Mr. West. Mr. West. Mr. West. It's Tim like West. That. Tim West. Tim Jim West. West. Jim West. Desperado. Tim West. Rough Rodder. No, I don't want none of <laughs> I knew someone was going to know that. That's what I wanted to do. The talented Mr. West. God we God. have Jim West with us. Uh, I guess predominantly you are of the band What If When We Die, We Scatter, correct? Yeah. Do you have any other names, titles, 
mechanic, uh, like no. I don't, what monster truck driver. What else do you go by? What no, else do you go I, by? I am a singer songwriter for okay. What If When We Die We Scatter. Yep. I did solo thing for a long time. Okay. That's kind of where most people know me from. Yeah, it's so funny because we switched. We did. We switched <laughs> entirely. Um, yeah. Opposite ends of the spectrum now. Yeah, it was. It was. I was actually have been encouraging him to do a solo thing for like years. <laughs> and then now you're in a band, and he's the solo person. Right. Yeah. I got those Matt Brinker belches going. Oh, on. Oh, dude, right. it's gonna. It doesn't stop, man. <laughs> you just gotta. He's gonna pop your chest and lean the other way, man. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. happen all night long. <laughs> um, so, give us. Yeah, is there anything more? Other thing? Like, what do you do? Is is it just music right now, or what else do you well, do? I have two kids. Okay. You know, cool. I, I hang out with that dude. I'm not very eventful. Like, I just <laughs> play music and have kids. That's what I do. <laughs> yes. That's it. I like it. That's but, all I do. But soon to be monster truck driver, though. Well, well, I, I do have a, a job title, you know, yeah. like a career as yeah. well. I'm a DSP, a direct okay. service provisor, right. provider. I uh, do in-home health care for the developmentally yeah. disabled. Okay, so. cool. All right, so that's, that was my next question because <clears throat> I, I wasn't sure if music was like the full-time thing or if there's something else to kind of supplement. Or, um, uh, it's, music's kind of full-time, but like my job's flexible enough okay. to where it can be full-time. Yeah. And but, you guys just went on tour, right? Oh, dude. <laughs> We've been touring nonstop for like a year. That's awesome, man. Oh, I yeah. am on hiatus from the band right now because I'm working a lot now. Yeah. I, I wanted to bring my band members on with me, but, dude, if it's if, – if we're not – I've only got four microphones, man. <laughs> it, it, There's four of you, right? Yeah. We should it, just let them all sit, and we can just and yell we just, questions we just the question, yeah, yeah, we just ask questions. Well, so, uh, <laughs> well, this is Matt Brinker. Yeah. From, <laughs> yeah. If you can't tell, this is Matt. Uh -huh. Hey, guys. Uh. Well, here's the thing, though. Like, you guys kind of did me a favor, because if it's not <laughs> band practice, I don't want to see those guys. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> no, it, no, here's, I'm kidding. Not fuck you. <laughs> here's the thing. I love them so much, but yeah. when you see people for, like, extended period oh, yeah. of time in a stinky van oh, yeah. arguing... <laughs> And then having fun playing, but like. See, so, you know, I um, wanted to go on tour with you guys too. I wanted to do the photography and all we'll that. We'll get which there. Is, yeah, we'll get there. But like, I want. I've never experienced. You've never done I've that. I've never experienced the road like that. Like I've done road trips and like that, that road trip I did with Wayne down to Florida was. I mean, that was my end of that. I it's similar like, to that. Pretty much add Very. two or three more people in there and make one of them really annoying because there's always one person who's always really one. annoying in a car, and then make one of them have terrible like hygiene habits. And then Dude. one of them complains a lot. One of them has to pee all the time. One of them has <laughs> one to fart all the time. To one of them's always hungry. One of them bitches or wants to change the music all the time, too, Hol right? Holy shit, dude. With all of those <laughs> descriptions, you described Kelson. <laughs> 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 and if you guys have watched the show before, like Kelson's the guy that I saved his life from the the corner of the the um, Ivy Social Salon uh, bar doing Fever War. Yeah, or during, during Fever. Yeah, War. during Fever War, just raging. <laughs> well, I've saved his life for you. Now he, you have a drummer still. He almost <laughs> dies every day. You were just the lucky one that was there to was save him. The, the one, one for the day. That one day. That's awesome. I love it. The 365 people that saved me this year. <laughs> Is he just wild or like? No, he's not so much wild as like. Just he's like shit happens. His attention spans like oh. this big. Okay. He's yeah, he's an interesting fellow. <laughs> I love him so much. He's my best friend. That's the cool thing though about with bands and stuff. Cause, cause, I mean, and we've talked about like your breakup with bands and things <clears throat> is it can go either way. I mean, it, you're so tight and you're so close all the time that. <laughs> You love them to death, and sometimes I'm sure you're like, get the fuck away from me, man. Like, Jesus. <laughs> well, also, Lord, then there's like wild some people you can never work with. Like, Jim and I can never be in a band together. Wow. We've wanted to. We would love to have a band Why? together, and Elaborate. I think we would. Egos, homie. Egos. Yeah. At the end of the day, we both have, like, these set ideas yeah. that we both want when we make anything, and that's just how it and is. And they aren't exactly on the same vein, so right. they're going to go opposite directions. So it's better just to... And we respect each other's work. I, think work. I think we could collaborate and stuff. I just don't think that we could do an entire continuous project to make that a main thing. There's no fucking way. Dude. No, no, I know. Way. I already know it. Like, <laughs> but, but see, and it's so weird to me. Thing. Like, I can see that with you a little bit, but you're so laid back and chill. Like, every oh. time I've ever been around, you're so laid back. See, see, like, that's all I know of you. If I've seen you play, I've talked to you. You've been in the brewery before. Ask, ask anybody I've ever been in a band with. I am a control freak. Wow. 
Like, <laughs> see, I would not. I would not know that. Like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't assume that about you because you're just, you're very you know, you're more soft spoken and you just seem like very. This damn thing is gonna kill me today. <laughs> I, I am those things until it's something that I'm very passionate about. And, then, and my then work the ethic. Come out. My work ethic is. He knows. Yeah. He's the same way. Yep. Well, I think it's what it takes, though, man. That's. It, it, there is a weird, just like there is a weird balance with your your bandmates and all that too. There's a weird balance that you have to find of being a control freak and then also being able to let go of that to be able to collaborate with people to take the next step. You really have to respect those people and trust them enough oh, yeah. to the let thing. them have the reins. Yeah, that's the thing. I do trust all of my bandmates yeah. because they're all great in their own separate ways. Yeah, and our strengths are the same thing basically. What See, you that's, say? That's where Songwriting I was and out. lyricism and, per, and performance, basically. Yeah, so like, you've got two alphas trying to do the same thing, whereas in your band right now, all of you have different strengths that complement each other. Exactly. So we're we're all we're all alphas in the band, but we're we're proficient in different things. Yeah, different yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's that's what really separates you know the ability of you two to work together and then the band, and that's like. I mean, so I've talked to people a bunch of, we've joked on here a bunch, you and I, like, we're very opposite, mm-hmm. and we're both, both good at different things, and if we were exactly the same, this wouldn't this work. This podcast would suck. Yeah, It'd there's no terrible. way. <laughs> I mean, it, it sucks already. It already lot. sucks. You know, we haven't gotten any real hate yet. <laughs> I know. I'm waiting on it. I know. I'm actually kind of excited. By the way, he's going to kick your fucking ass. That's okay. Hey, more, One I, more I'm goal, and his him. is gone. No, dude, I've been... Uh... Thinking ahead, about please. making some burner accounts <laughs> and hitting you guys talking up with some shit. Just yeah. talking. I feel like you guys need it. You need that publicity. Oh yeah. Man, we need For we sure. need the hate comments to get us going. Yeah. Sometimes just... when we'll post videos on YouTube of like new songs, I'll create fake accounts just to downvote <laughs> my do own that? video. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! I didn't think about that. Aiden, you're in charge of the hate comments from now on. Okay. <laughs> he can he can he handle a it. Thumbs up, everybody. <laughs> no, I, I downvote it from like my own account. I don't create accounts, but I, I just don't like the everything to look perfect. Yeah, it it upsets me. Yeah. Well, if you don't have hate, you don't have any criticism because whatever you do, somebody's gonna dislike it. It's not for everybody. Well, <clears throat> since his beer is gone, <laughs> we'll introduce it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good time. <laughs> it's very this good. Is, yeah, this is, yeah, uh, this is Emil Haynes. Smart. It is a New England style IPA. Emil Haynes. Emil Haynes. Emil Haynes. You cool. will get people on Thursday when you work. I figured that's why I was that wanting to know. Fifty thousand times. So be ready right for that. Yeah. Yeah. Emil bartender. <laughs> yeah. Bartender Colby. <clears throat> hey, this is your last shift, and then you're. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm so kicking little Bar- I'm kicking Barty out the fucking nest and letting him see if he flies. I'm excited. Yeah. Well. Dude, I've been looking at. Uh, I'm just getting a bunch of bartender stuff to like okay. practice and get Good. better. I'm such Hell a little yeah. lame person. I know, but I mean, that's what I did when I wanted to be a bartender before. I would practice flipping bottles and you know pouring jiggers and stuff. That's why it came naturally to me when I started doing it because yeah. I had so much time drinking on my own in my house alone. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> With your dogs, your yeah. dogs are there. Well, this was early on in my life, so I didn't have the dogs. Dogs but, weren't there. Okay. And there were lots of times with the other dog and then these dogs too. Because if you have dogs, you're never drinking alone. So, True. Yeah, you heard that first here, kids. True that. Um, anyways, Emil Haynes, we brewed this in collaboration with a brewery out of Whitehall, Ohio, called Two Tones Brewing. Colby's already almost done too. We are not even 15 minutes into this, and it's you're good. both done. <laughs> it's so it's good. really easy to drink. It's so good. I yeah. think there's some some others that that we've had that I would probably prefer the flavor of of them, but is this Colby flavor is really going good. To call out the beers he didn't like. No, I've liked every <laughs> beer. Um, I'm weird. I like everything. Um, but this is super easy to drink. Yeah. Like, it goes down quick. Yeah, and then the next one that we have coming out, too, which I, I was hoping we could get this week to promo it for next week because it's a, it's a big-time collaboration with a big-time brewery. Oh. It's even smoother, dude, and it's really good. And I think that's this was actually kind of an experiment. Um, it was done in collaboration with Two Tones Brewing for – there's a place in uh, – God, where is it? Southwestern side of Columbus. I can't remember where it is. Anyways, <clears throat> Hop Yard 62 had their four-year anniversary last Friday, and <clears throat> we did this beer for that. So this was made in collaboration with Two Tones for the Hop Yard release uh, or anniversary. <clears throat> so it's special one-off beer. We'll probably never make it again. Maybe we will. But the cool thing was it's, it's basically our Merc juice that's so popular, but they used different hops. Same process. I believe the same amounts of everything. Different hops in different parts of the process. ABV is a little higher. Isn't ABV is like, a little higher, yeah, and I think it's because of the different hops they used. I can't remember what the first one's called, uh, Holliter or a Holler or something Blanc. 
um, but it gives it a little bit more, it's, it's a different kind of fruitiness than the normal juices that we have, because Merc juice will give you more like grapefruit, orange, things like that. This one I think gives you almost like more of like a smooth banana um, flavor out of it. It's not quite the same as what you get out of a half, but it's similar to a half of Bison. And I hate halves, but I like this stuff. This is good. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty Very good. good. Yeah, I've had a bunch of little tasters of it. I, this is actually the first full one I'm going to drink there, just because my go-tos are hunch and telepathy and intuition and stuff like that. So, yeah. but this is the release. Still, yeah, this is where premonition was sitting, isn't it? Yeah, this is where premonition was. We're gone. That. That's my uh, beer. We're a little low on beers right now, but that's a good thing, man. We've had a good, couple good weeks here in the brewery. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's been really cool. Like, <clears throat> it's been really cool the last couple weeks just to see people, you know, because I do all the promo and blah 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 media and all that stuff for it, but. I haven't really relaxed so much, but I think we've built such a name now and we have enough market share in people's minds that people are just starting to come here. Just, yeah. it's Friday, let's go to Six Cents, or it's Saturday, let's go to Six Cents. And then other little things we're doing, like the tacos on Thursdays and blah, 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 we blah, blah. We come in that. sometimes. Yeah, yeah. it's like, it's yeah. to the point where I think when people are starting to think, you know, it's whatever night, let's go out somewhere. We're one of the people, we're one of the places that pop in people's heads now, maybe not first, but in the top couple. So what's we're starting the, to get uh, that traffic now. What's the uh, chocolate peanut butter porter? What's that called? That's Woody. called Woody. You, oh, you got it one night. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Yeah, yeah Woody will be back. They brewed it. We've got a milk stout coming back uh, this week. And then we've got, we're going to do a couple collaboration, not collaborations, we're going to do a couple guest taps this week for, from Jackie O's because the collaboration that we have coming out next week is with Jackie O's. Oh, cool. And that one's super good. And then, <clears throat> just so you know, I think you know this already, uh, next Saturday is our two-year not this Saturday, Saturday of next week, is our two-year anniversary party. It's awesome. So we're doing a whole big shebang and blah, 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 and stuff and music. and. I remember you know. when they were getting this place together. Yeah. I, I actually used to work at Archimedes. Oh, did you really? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. What'd you do? Me and Kels were both dish guys at Archimedes. What? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Did you know that? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Why did you ever tell me that? Jamie, I didn't think about it. Jamie and Jen were like the coolest people. Oh, they're the dude. best, man. Yeah. And, they really are. And Corey is my dude. Yeah. Corey, Good Corey and I go chef. way back. <laughs> Good old chef. Corey and I go way, way, way back. We've been friends since uh, since middle school years. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Dude, I've always thought you reminded me of Corey in a way. Oh God. Like I don't know how. I don't think Corey watches him. this. Oh, dude, I love Co that. Dude. Corey, I, I have nothing but respect for Corey. We butt heads because um, I think in in the last several weeks it's been much, much better. And I don't know really what's changed, but something's changed. And I think my, my position on leadership of any kind is I don't give a fuck who you are. If you've got shitty ideas or you're shitty to people, I'm not going to listen to you and I'm going to call them out. And I'm not saying that's him. I'm, that's how I am. Yeah. So I've, I've, when things have been said or done, I've called them or I've asked questions or whatever I've pushed back. I think it's caused a little bit of stress and tension. It's probably my fault. But in the last couple of weeks, I think that we've kind of viewed each other more as, because we, we do different things. I mean, I manage oh, a tap dude. room. I'm, I watch over and communicate all the food and all the stuff that goes over here is in my domain, even though I don't like, Dustin now is the truck guy. He's actually in charge of the food, but we have to work together on stuff. And I think that now Corey and I have seen each other a little bit more as like separate but equal. And like, you know, this is your world. I'm not gonna fuck with it. This is mine. Don't fuck with it. I've watched and, and, enough Gordon Ramsay to know that that head chef position is a stress yes. machine. Yeah, dude. oh yeah. And I mean, he, <laughs> it, and if you ask him, he'll he'll tell you that it's it's stressful, and it's rough, and it's it's hard on him. Um, but nothing but love for him. I just like we worked together Sunday. We had Arch Andy's, uh pop up shop here where they did burgers. I mean, it's not really. Pop -up How did that shop. go over, by the way? Dude, it was super good, man. Oh. We sold uh, like eighty five burgers or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I mean, that's, that's not even all the heads that came through that day. It's just the burgers because there's other people that got other stuff because there was a bet on how many burgers we'd sell. And I said 95, but we got the 85, I think, or just close to that. Um, but yeah, I was here all day and in the kitchen with him and, you know, we worked it out, but I got him into the service industry. Um, he was in college at Marshall with me and he needed a job. I just started bussing tables in an outback in Barbersville and I got him a job bussing and then... We bust together, we hosted together, we did to-go serving together, we served together, and then he, backstory, kind of went down a dark road for a while, moved back to Gallia, sort of managing a Bennigan's, then moved to Columbus to go to culinary school, met a girl, she got pregnant, they got married, 
uh, he started working in the kitchens up there, and then the rest is history. Like they, yeah. they pulled him out of Columbus five years ago um, to come here and open our chains with them, and you know, they've done a fantastic job. But um, anyways, yeah, I got Corey into the whole thing. I always tell Jamie and Jen constantly, like, you're welcome. Like <laughs> Corey's the motherfucking man, dude. Yeah. Dude, yeah. the specials he fucking puts out, Saturday, oh, and, yeah, Saturday, or Friday and Saturday, the specials oh. he puts out, fucking our bomb the yeah. seafood all that i don't know we don't talk about artisans much on here but like you know but we shout should out, I mean, as usual to to our owners of six cents and Archanetti's. that's our sister company it's our parent company you know they've been here for five years we're getting ready to celebrate two years here of business and uh it's fantastic food it, yeah. you can go like specials every day lunch and dinner um it's solid they do everything really well the serving's always good service is uh, good bartenders yeah are really terrible. Just kidding. I'm just, I'm just gonna hoping some of them watch this and see that little clip because I go but around. But for it. real, I mean, we're lucky to have a place like Archinetti's in such a small town. Oh yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. you don't go to a, a where I'm gym. from, Pike County. I mean, Pike I'm County. not trying to throw all the shade there, but we don't have a restaurant of this caliber anywhere in yeah. that whole county. Um, yeah. I don't know. You guys have a uh, the Lake White Club. No, it's it's not good <laughs> in my opinion. Really? Not, good. not compared to this place. Oh. Arch that's what I'm saying. Way like, better, it sets but, a caliber that's much higher than you can okay. really find for miles. I and think. anybody who's watching this might be new. Like, you know, if you see them looking or pointing that way, like, Arch Andes is right here, and there's a window right there. Again, <laughs> if you haven't, didn't know, like, it's shitty weather out right now, so no one's probably going to be in the window. But, like, I like to stare. Yeah, but people, people will, like, walk up Arch Andes, like, in the front. And then look in here because we're sitting. You can see all of us, and, and we're and probably really stupid sitting. They're here. really confused as to why we have mics in front of our face and yes. are just talking to each other. Yeah, just talking to each other. Like we need to amplify. None you of us can really hear very doing, well. And so. I don't know. This is probably a good question for you because I think you watched all the podcasts, right? Yeah. Like, isn't it weird as fuck to be here doing this now, thinking After about watching. what you have seen the whole time? Oh yeah, dude. I never thought that it was like right here. I thought yeah. it was maybe like right. Oh, oh really? okay, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, like it is weird. It's even weird to me because I'm the one that edits it every single week and all that. Like to go to go back and I, you know, you you say constantly we forget about things we talk about. It goes really fast. So like everything's like, like we're, we're 22 minutes in there already. Like we've been here talking for five seconds, right? And then and we haven't really even got on a topic. Nothing, not at all. So, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> rambling, talking the whole time. Yeah. But good. Yeah, and that's the fun stuff. But yeah, it is it is way different when you're and you too last week, Aiden, right? It's way different being on this side, isn't it? Yeah. Way different. Time, I'd say I'd say for Aiden back there, time probably moves very slow on the other side of the yeah. camera. He's but on this his, side, it moves he's really quick. his head vigorously right now. <laughs> well, he was sipping coffee like crazy last week, oh, yeah, so that, that'll coffee. get you. That'll, that'll we need to get Crystal on here because she sat through enough. She has sat through enough. Yeah, no, <laughs> we'll have to, to bring her yeah, on. Here. To bring her on and uh, let her experience it. Yeah, you can only sit through people talking so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess my first question is, what if, when we die, we scatter? <laughs> I mean, people want to know. I want to know where the name came from. Oh. Uh, and, and then I also want to, I mean, I want to talk about it. Let's, let's talk about weird stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, well, the name is actually a product of Kelso. Okay. He actually had, like, an art piece slash um, song that he had written called yep. that. And then it kind of evolved from there. And, okay. like, we had... I was hoping for something, like, big, huge, deep, like like life question universe questioning you'd have to ask him dude <laughs> yeah okay. his we brain get him on here <laughs> yeah his brain works a lot different than mine yeah, does I, I can i can tell that <laughs> I, I just i don't know him but i can I, tell i just write the songs man well some of them he writes a lot too but how is that or how does that work for you is it weird no dude it's was it weird at first great. i guess we should I, I should backtrack a little bit no it's fucking great That's like awesome. i've wanted that the entire time and you, you and Kelson are cousins? No. No, you guys are friends. You've been friends yeah, for a been really long time. For a long Sorry, time. for some reason I thought we you guys We might as were well be cousins. Um, well, okay, so you guys have been friends for a long time, and you've wanted to make music together for a while. Oh, and yeah. And then two years ago you started What If When We Die We Scatter? No, dude, we started uh, What If When We Die We Scatter probably like... A year... No. September of last year. Okay, Is I should have thought... New? It's that new? Yeah, because I sold you guys wow. that van in, like, what, October or something? Yeah, well, was... September 2017. Oh, okay, so November. Yeah. It was November when I sold you that in, in 2017, wasn't it? January. Was it? It was January. So that van or actually it was house February. for a month and two months. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we started playing shows in you January. You sold them the van? 
Well, okay, so originally the van was Silence the Ocean's van, then it was Ohio and High's van, now it's What If When We Die We Scatter's van, until you guys get something else, which I'm sure yeah. you're probably going well, to. Well, we've put so much money into it now. Like It's like, well. you just keep it around. <laughs> I feel it. How feel big it. is this van? Huge. It's like a 12 passenger. Wow. So it's pretty big and it out? smells oh, real yeah. bad. It doesn't smell so bad. Does it bad. smell better now? It smells it's the probably best. because you're not in it all the time, Colby. Well, see, I didn't even really... You, you guys can't tell because you're watching the video well, listening. Well, I didn't really get to... terrible. <laughs> well, dude, I didn't really get to drive it very much whenever we had it, so... Kelson's feet are the worst smelling thing in the world, dude, so... It smells a lot better when he's not in there. <laughs> wow. Or when he has his shoes on, I yeah, should say. Yeah, keep the shoes on, man. Does he, like, not wear socks, or what is, what is the problem here? I don't know what his deal is. I think his shoes are just made of sardines. Yeah, okay, <laughs> gross, but all right. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, but... So, so what if When We Die, We Scatter is actually fairly new, then? Yeah, we've been a band for a little over a year now. And you said you've toured for almost a year as yeah, well? Yeah, it was almost the instantaneously. And then the, the yeah. most recent tour, though, where did that take you? So we were touring with uh, Bloom which is a cool band, and if you haven't listened to them, you should. Um, so, really, that tour was cool to us, because, like, we've all kind of been fans of Transit at one point in our yep. lives, and Tori, the guitarist of Bloom, was the guitarist of Transit oh, cool. before they split up. So that tour took us to uh, Newport, Kentucky, um, Columbus, Ohio, Downers Grove, Illinois, and then Indianapolis, Indiana. <clears throat> that's what I thought. I was gonna say, like you've been to Illinois and, and Indiana, and that's and that's cool, man. Like that's awesome. Yeah. Like I see all these. I, I've actually someone put out a uh, oh um, the band Ona out of uh, Huntington. There's mm -hmm. a guy. I well, there's a girl I worked with. No, I guess we didn't work together. No, we worked together. I guess two of them. I guess I think he's either the bass player or the guitar player, um, and then his girlfriend. We all worked at the Lantern together for a while. When I was, I was just working the door, and they were bartenders. But uh, uh, they're starting to blow up, and they 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 posted like a like a tour schedule, and then like they had like oh supporting this band, and or I guess opening for really a couple of them were they're opening for Tyler Childers and a couple ones and and stuff. And I was like, that's so cool, man. Like, and I just I can't really imagine. I don't know how because I've I've never lived it. I don't know how the whole music scene works, and I can't imagine putting it together like does somebody come to you and go hey we want you to tag on like how does that even work i well, don't even know how that, how that happens how we, does a tour come together well usually in the early stages of the band like you're booking the tours yourself you're not really supporting anybody so, like, so you're just calling venues and places you want to go and see not emailing. emailing email okay and usually it's contrived of a lot of house shows and stuff so like and like small venues and exactly stuff yeah. where you already kind of are it's a big gamble and basically you have to already know bands from that area so yeah. you can like get a bill together or know somebody but now we did like the first six or seven or eight months like doing that and then yep. we were contacted by fbt entertainment Hell yeah. and they run our managing and book our tours now. They're our management, obviously. So that's cool. Oh yeah. And that's how we got the Bloom thing. Yeah, that's so cool. And like, like I said, you know, just looking at at people I have seen and watched. Like I followed, started following the band Ona from like you know four or five years ago, whenever I was still living in Huntington. And then even like uh, uh, Maggie, the band in Gall from Gallia, mm -hmm. uh, fantastic band, great guys by the way. I don't know if you ever heard of them or heard their music. I've heard fantastic. the name, but that's it. Yeah, they've played here a couple times. I want to get them back. They're that's playing. Probably they're they're playing Mountain Music Festival this year, and they're like, you know, they're, I don't, they're not playing the main dope. stage, I don't think, or whatever it is. Either way, though, that's but still, cool. like, that's yeah. dope. Like, Super I mean, Tyler cool. Childers is like one of the headliners there, and then you've got to look for it. But Maggie's on there. It's like that's fucking cool, man. Dude, it's I love local seeing guys like from fucking Gallia bands that you play with or bands that you know people in, like kind of start to work their way up up a concert flyer you isn't, know isn't it weird seeing 21 pilots yeah like, and like, wait did y'all like do a tour with them or we like, played with them in jackson what yeah, here yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like at uh the christ united Methodist. <laughs> at the methodist what? church yeah dude. <laughs> no fucking way how yeah. have you never told me that i That's did dope. actually in the first couple episodes of the podcast i don't remember that i know we were drinking we can use I that don't as drink that excuse. much. You're I'm the one who kidding. shotguns beers and shit. I just drink one slowly because I have to be responsible. Right. I understand. <laughs> well, that was weird. 
Like yeah. seeing them play. And then like months later, I mean like three months later, they signed a Fuel by Ramen. And then a year later, they well, they put out a record then. It didn't really blow up like they were hoping, but it built a good fan base. Then like two years later, they put out that Blurry Face record. And Blurry Face was had what? Five or six singles on the radio. Oh yeah, dude. Constantly yeah. for oh, two yeah. years. Yeah, that's when I first I I found them. I didn't find them. My uh, college roommate Max <clears throat> turned me on to them right after that released. He found them right after Blurry Face released, and then he turned me on to them. And I've I've loved them ever since. Like yeah, they're super good. I I enjoy their music a lot. Yeah. Super cool dudes too. Yeah, they um, showed up and I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> they, they made me so mad. I was like. I was running door. Uh, I was like sitting there checking in all the bands and stuff. And these two random guys come up and they're just like asking me stupid questions, being like me, like how I would be if I was in their <laughs> shoes. And they acted so much like me, it was ridiculous. But they were like asking me stupid questions and stuff. And they're like, who's headlining tonight? And I was telling them who else playing and all this stuff. And I don't know who, the, who in the hell these guys are. It's 21 Pilots, but like I didn't know them. Yeah. I listened to like their cover of Jar of Hearts at that point in time. And that was like it. And so they're like, um, then they eventually tell me they're 21 Pilots, and they were checking in. I was like, you fucking dicks. <laughs> and, uh, and then, were they headlining that night? They were support. They were like direct support. Okay. So they were like top. It was like probably like 12 bands. I'd yeah, say there were a shit ton. It was man. a festival, so it was awful. I don't, it was <laughs> like the entirety of the festival was awful. It was just but, a big mess. Yeah, <laughs> it was a big mess. But those. But 21 Pilots ruled that night. They killed. They, they really did. And it That's really so impressed cool, me. I had never seen something like that in the local area. You guys got booked at the same time as another <laughs> band. That was such dog shit. Yeah, it just, it just was, a, was a time. It you, was a so time. <laughs> my only experience with booking, and the reason why I ask this is because it, it's interesting to me. Because I'm on the other side. So I get people constantly emailing, DMing. Whatever. See, and I've been there, too. Yeah. I used to run a venue. Yeah, because so. I, I, yeah, I book all the talent here. So I've got us booked out into June right It's now. annoying. And it's it's obnoxious. And I got, like, this one guy last night was, like, sending me all kinds of shit. And, and it's like, he's just not our, he's not our vibe. He's not our style. He's not our look. He's not our feel. Like, he's just not what I want here. And he's great. I'm not trying to knock him at all. It's just, like, I want someone like Dallas Craft, which, shout out to him. He just released his single today. Um... I did music videos. Aiden helped me with those for him here in the brewery, brewery sessions that'll be releasing next week. <clears throat> Anyways, like that's kind of more our our style. He's a younger guy. He plays original music and really cool covers and stuff. I'm like, it just th these guys that are DMing me are constantly like, oh, well, I've done this, this, and this, and they're all like 40, 50 year old guys that you know, like they're playing oldies stuff. I'm like, that's not our crowd. It's not our demographic here anymore. It's right. really. It's really more like our, you know, I don't know how old you are. You're probably close to my age. I'm 30. Well, no, he's a couple no. years younger than I'm me. I'm going to say, yeah, never mind. Never <laughs> mind. No <laughs> one's close to my age. I'm old as fuck. So, no, nah, dude. I'm early 20s? 24. Wow. Almost 25. You're almost wow. in those mids. Yeah. Almost a mid. <laughs> almost in those mids. God, I'm going to be 32 in, what is today? Where's the date? I don't have a date on here. That's oh, what the hell. That's very young, dude. though. I know. It's 12. All right, so 20, no, 16 days. I'll be yeah, 32. Yeah, it's coming up quick. Dude. And I don't, I don't, and I don't feel old at all, but like, it's just people are like, well, you're 32. I'm like, ah, fuck you. Like, dude, when, <laughs> when my mom turned 30, I remember it like as plain as day. She bought a chocolate cake and sat in her bed and cried all day. <laughs> I remember Jeez, it. Dude. Wow. I was just <laughs> laughing about that. That is kind of funny. <laughs> oh, and now she's in her mid 40s. Yeah. She's doing good. I, uh, yeah, she survived the 30s, thank goodness. Um, no, I, like, I don't, like, I, I don't, I don't know, without going on the whole time bullshit, like, <laughs> that I'm trying to avoid going there, because I'm not taking this I know you're thing. ready to pounce on I it. I know, I've been sitting back being pretty chill today. You're ready to today, pounce on it. If, it. if it comes up, Colby is ready to pounce on it this time. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like, you know, 32, yeah, I'm not old, but like, you know, when I was younger, we thought 30 was old, and now I'm like, I'm 30, and I don't feel like I'm 31. I don't feel like I'm anything over, like, his age. Like, Just perspective, man. Yeah, right. perspective it's how you different. live your life. Yeah. I mean, if you want to live old, you can live old. Oh, yeah. If you oh, want to live I, young, I, I you promise. Can. I'm 25, and I almost, and I feel like I'm 50 some mornings <laughs> waking up, dude. My Trying knees. to stand up, and oh, you're just like, God. oh, my God. I've oh, slept on too many floors and couches. Oh, and no, that's what I'm idea. saying, man. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> That's why I don't go anywhere usually because I'm not gonna. I went to put my boots on today or something. I was putting my socks on and I had to grab my foot and pull it up because <laughs> I couldn't stretch my back any further. I was like, You're oh man, old now. yeah. We all know I'm just out of shape. <laughs> like yeah, that's like I know 70 year old people who could do that without yeah. having to do that. I'm just out of shape. Oh, that's what it yeah. boils down to. Well, it's interesting to me the other side of booking and all that and tours because and actually like I had um. I had a booking agency email me, or they emailed the brewery, and then it went to me. And they had, um, I don't know where they got our name from, but I guess they looked us up and thought it was a cool venue. And the guys were going on tour kind of through the area, and they, they wanted to see if they could fit us in. Before you finish, I promise that if people are booking things, it doesn't matter how cool your venue is. Oh, yeah. They're just looking for money. They're just looking for money. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm just trying to make it sound cool, man. He's fucking shot me down. They Jeez. would play in a kid's toy box, dude. Wow. <laughs> I've played a tea party before. Have you really? Please tell me it's a lie. And I was screaming. <laughs> like, it wasn't like it was normal music. Please tell me this I is was screaming. No, this is all true. It oh, was, well, well, basically, like, what you're doing is you're, it doesn't really matter where you play, like, as long as and the money is like obsolete because musicians don't really <laughs> fucking make anything, and they don't actually care that much. <laughs> no. is, if I there's know, survival, people, like, I don't want to put this out there. I'm not going to tell you numbers. We pay people. Pretty you can well make to play. good. That's you good. can make good yeah, money. We, we I'm not. People, and Jamie constantly goes back and forth with me. He wants us to pay way less. I'm like, I yeah, but there's a drop off. There's a drop off. I think what we're in the sweet spot where we pay him a decent amount to be here for three hours to to play music and to entertain. Yeah. And I think if we go much lower than that. Then we're gonna start getting way. I think the price point you guys are at for what you're asking for is entirely appropriate. Yeah. What we're talking about is more more of like 45 minute long sets yeah. of original oh. music in places where those people are pretty much most of the time just glad to have a room to put their music in, um, yeah. Yeah. and an outlet for that. So basically, the way you're doing it is doing that in hopes that maybe like two or three people will enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. You know. And buy your merch. Buy your that's, merch, yeah. that's merch where your is where the money is. Yeah. From. Buy your merch, follow you on social, build the following, blah, blah, yeah. blah, all that stuff. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't know how many, like, with, with I played in a band for a while, and uh, the band that I played in, we, uh, a long while, it would be 10 years this year. Um, 10 years ago, by the way, February 13th, 2010, Jimmy and I were, I don't think you guys played that show, did you? The, the Don Mega's JC show? No, but. You couldn't make it, but then you played the 19th with us in, at uh, the City Light show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that was the first time that we ever actually played music together. Yeah. And that was my second show with my last band. And uh, it was February 19th, 2010. So that's how long ago. And before that, like I'd known Jimmy and I'd seen Jordan running around with his bass all around town and like you know you you know all the people i've never heard his name before jordan yeah lombardo oh God, dude yeah. i don't really? even want to bring so. him up dude <laughs> that dude there's like so much low like if i didn't know that you weren't like you didn't hate them i would think you fucking hated all of them. jordan is one of my top 10 best friends of all yeah. time dude yeah. I mean, if i didn't know these like you're your bandmates i would think you fucking these are your mortal enemies <laughs> you're talking about uh, i don't want to bring him up because he embarrasses me because oh, me of too, how good man. he is oh, yeah awesome. me too he's that's just awesome. like he's like literally Dale Earnhardt minus the wall, like <laughs> incredible talent, like non Have you seen the meme? Hold on, way weird, like sidetrack here. Have you seen the meme about Donald Trump building the wall? And it's got like some, it's a real oh, no, stereotypical, don't, don't real, stereo no, 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 real stereotypical, like you know, like Midwestern hillbilly, whatever. He's got like a, a, a thing of straw in his mouth or whatever, and he's with mouth open. And it's like when you realize that Dale Earnhardt was killed by a wall. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got like a MAGA hat on, the other guy's like... <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah, anyways, I just like funny memes. I don't care what your political opinions are. It doesn't are. matter. R.I.P. Dale Earnhardt. I remember that happening. Yeah, that was awful. Dude, that was one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, dude. I, I remember like it happening. I remember watching it. Dude, my dad's big was, into NASCAR and all that. And, like, he I was in my top it. five, yeah. probably. Jeff Gordon was always my Oh, dude. I thought you meant I top five Gordon. badasses. Stone Cold Jeff Steve Gordon. Austin, really? Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> um, who else we got on this list? Not Walker, Texas Ranger. Everybody talks him up, but he's, but he's not Chuck, a real He's person. a loser. In general, though. Yeah, Chuck Norris. How the Norris. fuck did we get here, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, how, how the fuck did we get here? Top five American badasses. Who are they? Oh. All right. 
I mean, in pop culture or actually? In general, in America. <laughs> right now or of yeah, all Yeah, sure. Right, right now. now. I don't know. I would put John Jones on there probably. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not versed not up any of this. John Jones. Um, I don't know. That, that's Just John Jones. Do you have yeah. five? Do you have five? Off the top of my head right now. Um, no, I was hoping you guys would have five. <laughs> nope. If you think no, this, sure. that was a terrible list, I'll, yeah. I'll think of it. <laughs> yeah, great job, Colby. <laughs> this conversation trails off, but you should hear our phone conversations. They're just ridiculous. Yeah, we don't. You should I, call I, each other favorite, right now. Just my favorite thing is the way Jim gets off the phone. He's like, "Okay, well, I'm gonna go by," and like that's the, <laughs> that's end, of the that's that's the end of the conversation. And you're just like, you're like, "Okay, I'll, I'll sit there for a minute," and I'm like. Did he just hang up on me? <laughs> you know, it's funny. Is like you're not the only person who brings that up. Like I, figured, ev- I mean, that's how you get off the phone. You, it's like two seconds. This is the most random shit ever, by the way. <laughs> I, lo- I love it. That's like, like that's why like I love this. And I, I actually do have a question I want to get to. to make sure we've got 20 minutes ish left, so we're fine. But have you noticed how weird people are about that? Everybody gets off the phone in a certain way. Yeah. And have you ever like? I, first of all, I hate phone calls. I fucking hate <laughs> phone calls. I'd rather like I'd rather fucking FaceTime or audio message or text or anything. I fucking hate phone calls. And You're the only have... person I know who sends audio messages, by the way. Oh, I love them, dude. <laughs> it's so easy just to be like, like, yo, blah 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 blah. Okay, later, and then send it. Done. I listen to it and I'm like, okay, I'll listen back later, and then I look back later and it's gone. I didn't know that. Yeah, I see, didn't know that though. Yeah, you gotta save it. So that's I, the only downfall uh, of that. So I always tell people that I hate like conversation, like long conversation and here you are <laughs> on a podcast. But i'm on a podcast but yeah here you like, are i'll call colby and we'll talk on the phone for like three hours <laughs> yeah we're on the phone forever every wow. time we speak and we've been doing that since 2012 or so yeah. sometime around then and it's it's not consistent it'll no. be like once yeah. every six months so yeah like, hey, we'll just going? have us a real good conversation <laughs> on the phone and then you know it is what it is I don't remember how we got here at all. <laughs> we've, we've taken so many roads oh, down yeah. different paths. This one's ways. a very uh, interesting episode. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I want to know, like, how how sustainable is it, and both of you guys really, but, like, how sustainable, how viable is it running a, a band or a solo career as a business now? Like, is it easier than it was? Is it harder? Uh, it, like, is it doable even? Because, I mean, I know it's, it's definitely I know it's doable. doable. And I know it's doable, obviously, but, like, like from the grassroots to the like it, during the come up, honest opinion. Yeah, dude, give me whatever it's you way got. Way easier. Yeah, <laughs> really. I agree. Yeah, because you have way more outlets. See, I would have yep. thought it would be harder now than it was ten years ago because of the saturation and the noise. In of different social media. ways. Well, you got to think of it this way: most bands don't talk to the people that they want to listen to them. Like yeah. you, if you make personal connections with people, that means a lot. Yeah. So I go out of my way to make personal connections yeah, that's awesome. with everyone. That's the only way you can. That's exactly. that's literally. I don't think my band was any good for a really long time. Like we we started out not so good in terms of like, it was kind of. I don't know. It was a little rough. Dude, you were like 16. Right. <laughs> but what got us, what gave us our foundation was literally us all being pretty friendly people who spoke to everybody who came to shows. Exactly. And the people who came back, you know, we knew their family. I mean, I know we would, we still get invited to their weddings. We go to their, awesome. you know what I mean? Like it's those things and it's, and it's really, it's shaking hands. Like we always say, yep. it's going up and just talking to people and creating those network or that network and that communication line and just inviting those people back. Because you know, you go to Indiana and you talk to one person and that one person may have 10 friends that come the next time that you go to Indiana or they may show your music. That's the crazy thing. I think we talked about last week a little bit with Aiden, like connections, dude, connections, 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 connections. And like, not don't be a dick, work hard, be passionate, but then like shake every hand, kiss every baby, be nice. Yeah, Yeah. And like that's, and I guess. It's not that hard to just like be a person, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so many people who would rather sit in the van and just let the world kind of expect. They set these expectations and they don't put the work in. And then they wonder why their bands don't have any success or why, why people don't like them. They may have success because of some other reason, but people don't like... Uh, uh, Your music has to be out there. If you're, if, and this is, I've been having this argument constantly for about a month and a half with somebody about they want... And, and there's something to be said, and so I'll, I'll preface it this way. There's something to be said for perfecting what you're doing before you put it out there so that you look like you know what you're doing and all that stuff. Exactly. Like website, whatever it is. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah. But 
at some point, and this is, you know, you watch You're enough, preaching you know. to me right now because yeah. I need to hear what you're about to say. I already yeah. know where you're going Perfection with this. doesn't fucking Jim matter. Jim knows it. Perfection doesn't fucking matter. Like, you don't need to spend a bunch of money on a fucking website and blah, 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 and this and that and everything. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. You're going to spend more time just pondering and thinking and trying to get shit right where you can make more damage faster by just being a fucking good person and yeah. going out there and playing shows. And it might be for fucking free or for dirt cheap or, or for two people or for a fucking tab or for those two people, but those two people fucking love you and they have 10 friends and then it goes from there. But like you can make more fucking damage. You can do more damage and make more, more of like a path for yourself by doing shit like that than you ever will sitting back thinking about like, Oh, well, you know, it, what if I write it this way or that way? And like, it's the action. It's the execution. It's the movement that makes you fucking good. And then yeah. if you're a dick, you're going to lose eventually. If you're nice and you take care of people and you are generally, genuinely interested in those people and what they're doing and what they care about and why they connect to you, you're going to fucking win. Well, man. plus, if you have people who care about what you're doing, they will care in a different way than people who just like what you're doing. There's, exactly. there's a huge difference. I mean, there's a huge well, difference. I mean, you can see it. Matt, you came to the show... <laughs> down there at ivy yep. like you saw how many people were packed in there like yep. for like we played a solo build like we were the only band who played a hey, show mike. there and mike makes a random <laughs> appearance <laughs> podcast special all right what oh, is god. this first person ever try oh god. me what wait why does colby get it that's the jacket is collab. i've been here for a year why the fuck does he get in first mike, i appreciate that <laughs> We already Jim talked about this Mike. already. This is Jim, I don't know Mike. Well. Mike, Jim, Jim, Mike. You want to throw some information yeah. on it real quick? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, it's almost done. It'll, okay. be, it'll be released on the 23rd for our anniversary party. Yeah, okay. Cool. We already talked about it before. I told him I wanted it, but we didn't get it. Let Jim try it, too. Mm, that's good. Hey, you got so, so much in your, in your... I so don't care. Thanks, Mike. That's dope. <laughs> Mike just yeah, randomly really appears weird. out of nowhere. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah, yeah dude. This is going to be so like so so smooth and so drinkable. And uh, I even the head tasted pers- really good. That that was like mm, the head tasted good. The head, mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Wow, that, yeah. Right? <laughs> but yeah, you saw how many people were down yep. there. Like we played during the Apple Festival this year, and it was just us. And there were as many people there as there were at that show. And that's just because like building like main per- stage Apple Festival or no like in the Ivy oh in the Ivy during it. okay and yeah. there were just as many people there yeah so like it's really it's just all the like the connections you make with people yeah, man. yeah. that's the yeah. thing is and like I'm, I remember, I'm not this gonna... dude used to sell out the memorial building <laughs> dude like with his band wow. like because where's that a, Colby I don't know because well, he's a good dude man mm-hmm. and, and his music is Colby? good anyway but you're not Aren't wrong why are we sold out here Colby you're not wrong <laughs> No, but I just, I, like I said, I've had this conversation on and off constantly for months now, really, with one person in particular, and multiple people. That's my whole thing, is like, yeah. I don't have a fucking website, I don't have a fucking perfect portfolio, and blah, 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 or even a highlight reel and all that, but I've done what I feel like is good work. I'm not happy 100% with any of my work, photo or video, but it never it's will good, be. It's good, and yeah, it never will be, but it's good work, and I've just... Shaking every hand, kissed every baby, been nice to people, talked a lot, asked questions, listened, given a fuck. And I, I finally settled, like, this other person's definitely like, well, I want this to be perfect. I'm like, okay, that's fine. But if I end up making more money without all that shit than you this year, then you need to fucking change what you're doing and start actually, like, doing it. Yeah. And it's like most people would, would you know, you, you strategize and plan your posting, you know, your, your posting schedule and this and that and all. Like, if your shit is good... Music, photo, video, poetry, blah, 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 whatever it is. If Aiden's photos are fucking good, he's going to win. Yeah. If your music is good, you're going to win. And it's, if you're not a dick. And seen by enough people. Yes. That's, and that's the but thing. But the only way is, to get seen by people the is to put it out there. The only way is to put it out there and to make it accessible. Some people can put things, you can put things out and not make it accessible. I yes. know people oh, who yeah. have great art and no one ever sees it yep. because they don't know how to just speak up and say, hey, I make art and... You should check it out. Well, I, I don't even think it's so much that as like a lot of people. A lot of people are like afraid of the work that you have to put in on that end. Too. Oh, dude, it sucks. It, yeah. It's there's yeah. so much work that has to go into anything. Like, and just like you know, we'll be here for another little bit talking, but then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna spend three hours, and I'm gonna spend another. On pipe. top of that, you have to do tear down, and that takes yeah. a while too. Well, set up, set up and tear down is about anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours total, and then we film for about an hour, give or take. <clears throat> 
it takes about anywhere from two to four hours to edit, depending on what I'm going to do. Anything glitches happens. <clears throat> last week, you know, like, if anybody really gives a shit, I don't know. Well, you know, yeah, last week, it went up a day late. Yeah. Because I couldn't fucking get the thing online. I just couldn't get it It just wouldn't it upload. It wouldn't upload to YouTube. I couldn't get it to upload to YouTube. But I also couldn't get it. What I always do on my desktop is I airdrop it from my desktop to my laptop. I bring the laptop in here and use the Wi-Fi here to upload it. But I couldn't get it to airdrop from my desktop to my laptop. So I had to airdrop it to my iPad. But then I couldn't even get it off my iPad until like 4 p.m. Wednesday. And then I finally got it on my on – because my, I couldn't upload it from here. I tried when I first got here. And then I couldn't get it. Anyways, it was a whole fucking thing, and it was hard, and it was obnoxious, and I don't remember why we're talking about this. But no, dude. Oh, the work that goes in behind the, behind the scenes. Yeah. All kinds of shit. People don't know. Well, and I was kind of stressed about it. I don't. You guys probably weren't really that stressed about it. Like I'm stressed. I mean, about it, I, I was stressed because I knew you were stressed, yes. and that bothers me. I'm I'm that I'm that person. Yeah. So you know, I'm over here like, man, I feel bad for Matt because I know he, it's right. Because I remember I woke up that day to work a double. I think. It was like nine o'clock in the morning. There's Thursday, you had a double Thursday. Yeah. You worked here Thursday and at the liquor store. Yeah, and it still wasn't up yet. And yeah. I was like, I was like, oh man, I know that 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 doesn't mean Matt w- w- didn't do something. That means Matt ran into some yeah, issues. I and I was like, oh done. great, that sucks. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, it was uploading all my it I started uploading it again on my desktop computer, but my internet's so slow at home that it literally didn't upload the entire night. It was up it was uploading all night and didn't upload. So so like we for the first year we were obviously doing all of our own booking and like all of our own recording and everything was diy so like we got in with this management company and they're taking care of a lot of our stuff so now i've decided that we're not self-recording anymore because like we just i'm pumped about that because i you told me who you're recording with right is that who you're recording with that's gonna be so dope can we talk about it or no no Fuck. It's going to be good, though. But we uh, we just don't have the time to do it now. We got so much. We're on a hiatus Well, plus right it's now. good yeah. to have that outside opinion on songs. Exactly. I like having a producer exactly. who is, you know, I, I do my, when I make my music, I make all my music. Then I take it to Briar, and Briar and I fix it again. Another, you know, it, it goes through another three days of studio time, right. two or three days of studio time before it even, you know, is finished. And it changes a lot from one to the other, so it's good to have that outside opinion. I've always thought Kyle was a bit too nice when producing us. You have so, to be a jackass. Sorry. You have to be like, that's shitty. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that goes back, God. You just give me, fl- like, you give me like twingy flashbacks to coaching. Yes, you're right. You're right. <clears throat> it depends on the people. Like, and I, I was the one, as a coach years ago, I was the person that would be like, that was terrible, do it again. Yeah. And... What I've gravitated towards now, and this is the kind of person I would want to work with if I were recording something, is, hey, you know, that wasn't great, I don't think. Well, like, even if I'm, like, I was recording uh, talking pieces, people talking to the camera, <clears throat> and I was like, that one wasn't good at all. And I went, hey, I love this part that was so good. This part, we need to do this, this, and this, and then at the end, we need to change this. Let's try it again. Mm-hmm. Like, it, giving, because... Especially because when we're talking about, I mean, you're a little, the, the people I was working with, I can't fucking be <laughs> You're with having you. a time today, dude. I'm having a time today, man. <laughs> you guys are a little more comfortable. You're like, you know recording, you know it's going to be, like, you know what you're getting into. Yeah. People I'm recording aren't actors. They're not, vo- they don't know how to, how to project their voice, or they don't know how to speak up, or, you know, put inflection in their voice to make sure something's emphasized, or, what are, you know, radio voice shit. Like, they don't know that. Yeah. So it's my job to direct them and to give it out of them, which is the same as a producer for music. It's, exactly. They're a director. They're getting the most out of you the way that it should be married with their vision and your vision, I would think. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I, I, I agree with you, and I think those people are very valuable. I would definitely want someone that would be a little more like, hey, this was awesome. Let's change this. Go. Yeah. And, and also someone who's willing to try different things and yes, listen exactly. to you. That's the main thing. Someone who will listen to your ideas, but then also redirect your ideas to the, to the route that, that makes the most sense for the end product. And you've worked with who I'm working with before. Oh, so. dude, he's great. I really, I really enjoyed working with him. Is somebody that I know? Is no, not, okay, no. I know it's, it's, right. Yeah, you wouldn't Completely have any different. clue. Right. Yeah. Damn it. So, I'm still um, out of the loop. <laughs> but, but, you know, he's cool. By the way, side note. 
I started a new band over the weekend. Oh, really? God. And it's already going to be on Krista iTunes in the next couple you. days. Yeah, she knows. Krista's she already knows. She's laughing behind you, so you know. Uh, it's, she is laughing It's going to be interesting. It's just me and <laughs> one other you, guy. Make yourself conscious. Wait, she's I still laughing. I think you were telling me about Did this, I tell you like, about last this? week. Is it a heavy group? I can't remember. So I started a heavy group called Heathen Child, and it'll be um, on iTunes and Spotify and everything in the next couple days. So I'm excited to see what in the world people think of it because it's way different than anything that I've ever put out. It's way heavier than the I'm protesting, or Silence the I'm Ocean protesting or, in general. I'm boycotting this band because if their shit goes on iTunes and Spotify before our shit's up, <laughs> <laughs> I am boycotting. We are canceling Colby and anything he does well, if other shit goes up before just, our shit just goes up. Just to let you know, it's probably going to be. God, um, who, who's doing it, Colby? Who's doing it? Because um, I should talk to them <laughs> and have them put our shit online. Dude, <laughs> Burn. I, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, Colby. Uh, <laughs> I've been keeping track of that chronicle of yeah. him getting the stuff online. But the thing is, I posted it. It's I just on Anchor. Don't, is it on Anchor? It, it's on Anchor. There okay, but that's the on only Anchor. place that it's at. So it hasn't distributed to the others. What are Maybe you going Maybe we should through? look into a different... What are you going Maybe through? we should look into a different program if that's the we? case. Maybe I should look into a different program. What are you going you. through? <laughs> um, Anchor. So. It's a podcasting platform. It's just a I just need to. You're supposed to be able to put the audio on for watch, Anchor. Watch, watch. It's, it it's all working, and then like this episode's on Anchor, and then they take us off because we're talking shit about them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really? Yeah, fuck those guys. I have that like 20 views. That would be views. some really like, anti-free speech shit if they took you off. The yeah, for yeah, but that stuff happens. I mean, I've seen places like, how many times do you see like Twitter or someone delete something? Because they don't agree with whatever the person said, and what they said I've may not be as bad. I've never seen Twitter delete it necessarily. Twitter's pretty. I mean, Twitter's, Twitter's not Twitter as bad. I guess. An account. Facebook and Instagram are because it's ran by the same people are a little rough on that stuff. I mean, yeah. honestly, they can they can just delete something because they don't agree with it. And I mean, I understand it's coming out on their platform. And I'm sure that if you look into their privacy laws, you've already d agreed to selling yep. your soul to them at some yep. point in time. Yep. So really, I mean, you can't argue it because of that. But yep. at the same time, I just don't understand why a platform would want that. Why would you want to limit? Well, the have speech? you seen what's happening in the, uh, the EU? There, the laws are are probably changing in the EU, where the platforms will become responsible for the content that goes out on them, not right. not uh, the person who puts the plat the content out there. Right. So if you put out hate speech or some bullshit, and they allow it, and they allow it to go up, then. The platform's responsible, not you. So I mean, like you'll, these people that you'll are probably Facebook get in trouble live too, but like talking about killing people and stuff, like what you see sometimes. I mean, yeah. I mean, then the platform would be responsible. Platform for is that. responsible, wow. and the person probably can be held responsible. I would, yeah, I would, hope I would so. think as well. Yeah. But that's nuts. But yeah. I, I mean, there's a whole whole backlash bullshit going on. I don't know if you. Uh, actually, I don't think I've ever mentioned Philip DeFranco on here, have I? No, but I. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you haven't, we've talked about Phil DeFranco. On yeah, Phil DeFranco, so. man, best new show out there, period, hands down. He's actually one of the main reasons I even got interested in this shit in the beginning. Like, <clears throat> we've talked about this. Jenna Marbles and, and Phil DeFranco, I saw them like. Okay, so we did have that conversation. Yeah, it's like 2000, 2010, 10, 11, yeah. when they were like starting to blow up online. Phil had like already had like 4 million subscribers. Jenna Marbles is already like popular. But that was like, oh shit, like Phil DeFranco has a fucking news show. And he films just with people in a room, and then he's popular because of it. He has a business behind it. And I was like, I didn't think it was popular. Like, I thought you had to be on a news show to have a news show. But. And, and you create this level of legitimacy that you think you have to have in order to put things out. And it's like, dude, no, you don't. Yeah. If you have a microphone and a camera, or yeah. if you have a microphone and a few minutes, I mean, you can do so much with that. It's, it's ridiculous. You could literally post yourself making like fart noises on Spotify. Like a as a ASMR podcast. fart noises. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that. Where's Jules? Over where's, here? I was going to say, where's Jules? <laughs> <laughs> we can make millions off of this idea. Oh, millions. <laughs> so what's coming up next for you or for what if when we die, we scatter? Uh, oh. What's on the horizon? Well, so it's a hiatus right now, right? We're on hiatus, which means you got part of my name. Doing less but than no. touring every <laughs> Sorry. month. <laughs> That's what hiatus means for us. Doing so are less. you guys getting it ready to record? Actually, we're, yeah, we are in March, but <coughs> as far as, like, shows and stuff go, we're playing with It Looks Sad and uh, tw the 28th. I cool. have tickets for that if nice. anybody wants to go. Uh, Where's that at? Columbus, at okay. a big room bar, yeah. And uh, 
we're recording in March. We don't really have too much planned as far as shows because, like I said, we're on a hiatus, which is anything less than touring every. <laughs> I was going to say, that's such a wide thing. Like, it's I really nothing. We don't want to work as hard as we have been. So, yep. I mean, that can be, it could be anything. You could never play again and you'd still be on hiatus. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And that's how they ended. <laughs> that's no, it. No. No. I I love this band and I love the people in it and I love the people that enjoy what we do too much. Yeah. Plus I think you guys have it you have it right. You have the right lineup and there's a lot of talent and you guys can do a lot of different things, a lot of different styles, and your writing is really good. And that's what's at the end of the day, that's what's important because anything else will always get better, but I feel like your creativity you and the writing. What is it? Except for you playing guitar. Except me playing Colby, guitar. <laughs> Colby is a better guitar player than he lets on. Yeah, I, I assumed that. But I just, that's from a couple of episodes. I, I've ago, watched but, him. Yeah. If Jordan says you're a good guitar player, you're a good guitar player. Well, I appreciate that from Jordan. But uh, yeah, uh, songwriting has always been like my thing. Yeah. Like, that's what I focus on. So yeah. that compliment is awesome. Oh, for sure. Aiden and thinks we need to start doing incremental challenge, not incremental, like, but time challenges on the podcast. Like, I'm totally down, so like, Aiden. I like that so idea. So, like, a schedule, a scheduled, I guess would be a better, like, a scheduled segment where we have challenges, like the milk challenge, or, like, you have to play a song <laughs> for everybody so that we prove that you're this or that, or, like... <laughs> Are you good at guitar? Watch I'm not good play. at guitar. <laughs> <laughs> he is fine. Sing a guitar. song for everybody. I'm kidding. But yeah, dude, I'm just lucky enough to be in a band with Kristen and Kelson, who are also like astronomical songwriters. Yeah. And then with Kyle, who he's just, he puts in just as much effort as anybody. Man. Yeah. Like he does great. And his bass playing is like effortlessly good. Like I wish he would focus on it more, but he doesn't. <laughs> But if he's good, then... And his, his screaming's really good. Yeah. And his stage performance is really good. Yeah, his stage yeah. performance is great. And he's an easy guy to talk to because he's really nice. Kyle is, like, one of the nicest people I've yeah. ever met. Yeah. And I think... Like, I remember... Obviously, I remember I recorded you guys and I, like, when I was at the Ivy. So I've heard your songs. But like, I'm so... when In that situation, I'm so focused on, like, what I'm seeing and what I'm getting that, like... I'm not really listening, so I need to go back and like listen again to your stuff. And I've, yeah, dude. I've heard I've heard stuff here and there, and obviously when I was editing and all that as well. But I need to go back and find more. And it's just cool. It's just it's just so cool to to see you know all the photos that you've put out in the last month or so from touring. Like that's all you write down there, and I recorded some stuff, but then like. Now you've been on tour other places and yeah, dude. I hope so it, many different people yeah. behind the lens. Yeah. Like, and I, and I hope I hope to see that continue for you and to, well, to go and expand and let's take you on a tour soon. <laughs> oh God! So get your in the van. Get your tour legs. <laughs> Can I bring the dogs? Absolutely. <laughs> the dogs would be a terrible idea. Kristen will probably have a heart attack if you bring a dog because oh, yeah. she loves them that much. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know what kind of dogs I have? I, I, have, I have two small Yorkies. Oh, she would they're shit herself. They're, like, literally... I hope she didn't shit herself, but... They, like, <laughs> they're, like, like this big. They're, they're tiny little five- and seven-pound Yorkies. They're, <laughs> like... They so, would get lost in the van. <laughs> so when we were on tour this uh, over the summer, we were leaving Detroit to go to... Uh, Pennsylvania and we stopped at a stoplight and our cooler spilled over and spilled all of the cold ice water on Kristen directly and she was just having a rough day man <laughs> but anytime she saw a dog and it changed her whole perspective on the day <laughs> the whole day was better. Dogs. Yeah. Day is better now dogs yeah, I'm gonna make a statement here whenever you guys put out whatever you put out next and I'm saying that because they've been a band for a year you've got you got your sea legs your tour legs You've got um, your writing together has come together even more, and you know what you're going for, and I know who you're recording with. Whatever they put out next is going to take you guys to a new level that you've never seen, and hopefully something that this local level hasn't seen in a while for a That's rock awesome. band. That means a lot, man. That's what I they hope want. So. Yeah. That's hopefully, what they want. Hopefully. Well, the formula is written for you. You know. Well, hopefully we can get by. 
Help us buy a new van. Yeah. <laughs> Start a GoFundMe. I need yeah. to go buy this new van so I can sell it to him. <laughs> you started GoFundMe. I'm going to start a GoFundMe. Buy a new van for me. I'm going to sell Help it to them Colby for the same exact price. So he can just buy it and then sell it to somebody else. I just want to sell it to for you for no the profit. same price. No, no profit. I just want something just smaller to put a trailer on because yeah. I'm going to buy your trailer. Yeah. See. <laughs> you a trailer too? Yeah. So that works out. So. Jeez. He's helping me out, man. You have so much shit. Dude, you're about. just one guy. Why do you need a trailer? I don't need a trailer. <laughs> do you know what I take to show is a backpack. Right. With my laptop yeah. and a couple cables in it. And that's, that's why it. And a microphone. Deodorant. Right? Deodorant. And swim trunks. That's why Always when have I was swim trunks. Swim you, trunks. You have to have swim trunks. Why? You never know when you're going to get invited to a pool party. Uh, do you agree that, with that? That's <laughs> true, wow. dude. And, and you never know, like, if your, ho- if your van's going to break down and you have to stay at a hotel for the night and they'll have a pool. Like, that happens. Yeah. Oh. And it's great to have swim trunks when you're in that situation. <laughs> you heard so, it here first, everybody. Swim trunks always and forever. Exactly. <laughs> Wherever you go, swim trunks always. This is going to be the clip. We're only going to share that. Everybody, let's just share that one clip. <laughs> oh, Swim dude. trunks only, everybody. Dude, for real. Right Can now, my bag back? doesn't have my trunks in it because of the time of year. But, like, no joke for years. In Ohio and High from, from 2010, we, we got invited to a pool party, and I didn't have swim trunks. And uh, from that point on, that was the summer. Since then, I've always had to pull a swim trunks in my, in my backpack. So. Dude, I, 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 did, I didn't have swim trunks, and Kelson didn't have swim trunks when we broke down in Indiana, but Kyle did, and he had shorts too, and Kelson never wears underwear. So <laughs> Kyle was like, Kelson was like, can I wear your shorts, Kyle? And Kyle was like, no. absolutely not, dude. I don't, <laughs> I don't want your naked penis on my yes. shorts, dude. <laughs> But anyway, if, if we can get a one, two, three, swim trunks forever. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, one. Swim, swim trunks, trunks forever! forever. <laughs> that should be the clip that we share. Follow it. I was gonna say, guys, thank you so much for watching. All the links will be in the description down below, like we always do. And don't forget, like Luke last week and it was more, like you always forget to do. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Jim, for being on here. Colby, Krista, for being more support always. Hey, you know the shit. He is shrug, he knows. Yeah, he knows. All right, we'll see you all next time. Peace. See See you guys.